In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of Office 365's Outlook email. Just a quick overview of the different options and the setup of the email itself. So first of all, you see up here, there's a search option. So you can look for certain messages from certain people, um, subjects, so on and so forth. I'll, I'll have a separate um, video just on that if you want to check that out. Over here is my sidebar show, showing me all my folders. Now by default, you might get something that looks like this, and that throws off some people. So if that's the case, what you can do is you can click on this more here, and it'll show you all your options. If I click on the arrow here, it'll show you few op fewer options. What most people are looking for in the sidebar that they can't find in this shorter view is their junk email. So sometimes someone says they sent them something, they can't find it, they're looking for it in their junk, but they can't find that junk email box. So it's there, okay? Again, that was either clicking on the more or the arrow. You'll see here's my clutter. That's something that someone, something else that sometimes people look for to see if messages accidentally got stuck in their clutter. Now when I click on my inbox, you'll notice here, I only have the option to um, start a new message or if I click on the drop down it will link up with other parts of Office 365 my calendar or my group. If I click on a specific email message, so I'll click on this one from YouTube you see suddenly I have all these other options at the top. So let's take a quick look at those. So I have reply all or you can see I can just reply to a single person or forward. So if I'm having a discussion. I can delete the message. I can also send it to my archive folder. So archive is an actual folder here on the side. If I click on more and scroll through, right there is the archive folder. So it's just kind of another way to sort your email. So here's my junk. Now there's a couple of options I have for junk. If I click on this down arrow, let me kind of explain them. So junk just sends messages from this user to junk email to that folder. If I click on phishing, what it will do is it will um, report it that it's someone trying to spam your account. So junk is just kind of stuff you don't want. Phishing is kind of more malicious, like people are trying to get information from you. Unsubscribe will um, stop you from getting email messages from that person. So if you have a, if you're subscribed to some newsletter, you don't want it for anymore. Um, unsubscribe, you won't get it in your inbox or your junk mail. As an FYI, most messages like that, they also have an unsubscribe at the bottom of the message. If you do it that way, a lot of times you'll get additional options in terms of what you can and cannot get from them. Also, it will make sure that um, you don't get any messages from this um, account. So, like, unsubscribe will only get, well, like I said, stop getting mail from the sender. But let's say they, they change the address here. Like right now, it's no reply at youtube.com. Let's say they change that to messages at youtube.com or, or youtube.org or something like that. Then you may start getting messages again if, if you don't use the unsubscribe on the message itself. So I'm going to click on Sweep. Sweep does a number of things. So I click on it. You can see I can delete all messages in my inbox folder from this person. Um, all messages in my inbox and any future messages. So for this one, I will get new messages, but it gets rid of the old one. This one gets rid of all of them. You can see I can keep the latest but delete oldest. So if I only want the latest from someone, um, delete messages that are only old are older than 10 days and you can see here I can look at the rules okay rules are kind of options for how it will file messages I'll talk about that in a second so move to you can see I can move messages to different folders I can make a new folder here um, I can also make a new folder up here so either works if you're the type of person who wants to organize their mail into folders you can also categorize them, so you could have um, mark a bunch of blue messages, and then you can ju just look for your or organize your blue messages. 
So here's the dots. Um, these dots give you a whole bunch of other options just to kind of hit across a few that I use often. Um, mark is unread I use, so if it's a message I've, I've read once and I'm here like, oh, I need to take another look at this, I'll mark it as unread. That reminds me to go back. Um, sometimes I'll pin and unpin messages, which will put them at the top if they're super important. And um, print, that seems to be a popular one. A lot of people have issues with printing if they want a paper copy of the message. If you hit print, it'll put this pull this message up in a separate window and ask you to print it. Opposed to going to file and print, a lot of times it'll give you this entire window, not just the message. Now I mentioned rules. If I click here, you can see it says create a rule. That will give you all of these options that you can do with your email, like making them go into separate folders and so on and so forth. So rules can be powerful, but they can also be tricky if you've never used them before. A few other things I want to point out. Down here at the bottom, I have other options. Um, right there is my mail. The next one over, or two over, is people. That's where your address book is. A lot of times people are, aren't sure where to get their, your contacts. It's the people. You can see you have contacts just for your account. Or if you're part of an organization, like a school district, you can click here and you can see all the users in that district. If I click back on mail, it'll bring me back to my email. So that's a quick overview. Hopefully it helps.